hello guys you are welcome back again to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you how to make different flares although i did this previously on my life i decided to re-edit the video for better understanding if you are new to this channel you are most welcome and if you're a returning subscriber i encourage you to keep watching my videos let's dive into the video Flares originate from a circle and the angle of a circle is 360 degrees. The circumference of a circle is 2 pi r, where pi is 22 over 7 and r is the radius. So I'll be using the neck of this mannequin as my waist because of course flares could be used in any part of a dress or a trouser or anywhere at all. So I want to use the neck as my measurement so the round neck measurement is about 11 inches which i'll be using to cut out all the flares so the first flare is 90 degrees and looking at a circle when you divide it into four you have four quadrants and because it's a 90 degrees flare it becomes one over four so from that formula c equals two pi r times one over four so r should give you 2c over pi where the c is 11 inches remember the 11 inches i measured so after doing that you do the mathematics you get your fabric in my own case i'm using a pattern paper and when you want to cut out the 90 degrees flare you don't fold your paper okay you just cut the fabric like that put your tape at one corner of the paper or your fabric then you mark out what you got then depending on how long you want your flare to be you also mark it just as i'm doing now okay this is just an illustration actually but you can apply that to your fabric so this is actually 90 degrees flare this is how it should look okay Now, coming to 180 degrees flare, you are actually dealing with two quadrants and that's why you have 2 over 4 there. When you do your mathematics, you should get 1 over 2. Again, you remember the circumference of a circle, which is C equals 2 pi r. You are just going to be multiplying that 1 over 2 by that 2 pi r. And using your r as the subject of the formula, you should get C over 2 pi again c equals 11 then you get your answer because it's 180 degrees and it's two quadrants you'll just be folding your fabric into two like so and again mark out what you got don't also forget the length of the flare i'll just be using like one inch as the length of the flare because my pattern paper is actually small so that's it right there note is folded into two because it is 180 degrees and it's just two quadrants so here is how it looks after cutting out so the first one i did that's 90 degrees flare i'll just be putting it on the neck of the mannequin for you to see how it looks do you see how the 90 degrees flare looks i'll just try to hold it with paper tape so that you see it very clearly let me also show you how the 180 degrees flare looks on the neck of the mannequin 180 degrees flare is actually two times the 90 degrees flare coming to 270 degrees flare we are talking about three quadrants that's 90 plus 90 plus 90 and because it's three quadrants it will be three over four again you multiply it by the circumference of a circle using your r as the subject of the formula you will get your answer i also use 11 inches as i've been using so when i did that i just wanted to give a little twist to this part though it's optional for you to know the quantity of fabric to fold what you will do after getting your r which is the radius you will add the length of your flare to the 
answer you got, I mean the radius, so that you will know the quantity of the fabric you will use. It's not compulsory anyway, I'm just trying to show you this so you don't waste your fabric. So for example, I got say 3.5 and I want the length of my flare to be like 2 inches. I'll add it to, then I will fold my fabric with that measurement. Hope you understand. So that was exactly what I did here. I was able to get the measurement for the fabric and that is it right there, like kind of square. If this method or pattern will confuse you, it's better you just mark out your radius first, then later you add the length of your flare, okay? Since we are working on a 270 degrees flare and is a 3 quadrant, I'll be folding my fabric into 3. Hope you are following the pattern. 90 degrees was just a single fabric, 180 degrees was double folding, and this 270 degrees, I'm folding it into 3 places. So the manner you fold it does not really matter. You can either choose to fold it this way, or you fold it in another pattern, but provided you are folding 3 times. So after the addition of my flare to the radius I got, I got about 5.3 inches. So I'll be placing my tape that way, okay, and I'll be marking my 5.3 inches. So in this case now, you've already included your flare length. After marking out this, then I will take my tape back to that corner there to mark the original radius, which is 2.3. So I'll place my tape like so and I'll mark my 2.3. So in this way, we've gotten the radius and the length of the flare all together. And of course, I'll be joining all the points and I'll be cutting it out. So this is a 270 degrees flare. You should be having two pieces at the end of the day. Okay, so 270 degrees flare and look at what I arrived at. Though the camera was not in focus so much, I apologize for that. So I'll just be joining it like this. So if it's a fabric, you will just sew the two pieces together with the two right sides facing each other. Since this is a paper, I just use my pin to hold the two this way. I'll also be placing it on my mannequin so you see how 270 degrees flare looks. When you don't have so much fabrics, you can actually try out 180 degrees flare, 270 degrees flare. It has its own special beauty. Coming to 360 degrees flare is the commonest of all of them. It is of course 4 quadrants put together, so that's 4 over 4 We give you 1. And that's what makes the circumference of a circle to be 2 pi r because you're actually multiplying 1 by 2 pi r, which is still 2 pi r. So using r as the subject of the formula again, 11 over 6.28 is what you should get. And because it's four quadrants put together, you'll be folding your fabric into four. Hope you are getting the gist. So now this is my fabric and um can you see it's one, two, three, four, four foldings. And when you have achieved that, depending on, I've explained two ways you can actually fold it. Either you just fold it normally, then you later add your flare length, or you just add the two. So when you've achieved that, you see where that folding is, where I'm touching there, is where you place your tape to mark out the full length of the flare and the radius of the flare. Hope I'm making sense. Again, when you are done marking your full length of the flare and your radius, you connect everything and you cut out. Because it's a 360 degrees flare, it should give us a full circle. Can you see that? So this is a full 360 degrees flare, the commonest of them all. So you can decide to open it up and of course, I'm wearing it on my mannequin. If you can follow these methods, you won't have any issues cutting out any kind of flare. Let me explain how to cut out a 720 degrees flare. 720 degrees is two circles put together, that is 360 plus 360 degrees. 
Going back to the radius I got when I calculated the 360 degrees flare, I got about 1.8, so I'll be dividing that into two such that each of the circles put together will give me 720 degrees flare. So 1.8 divided by 2 is 0 0.9, then another 0 0.9, the two will make up 720 degrees flare. Hope that makes sense. So because we are going to be having two circles, I'm going to also be having two fabrics and that's what you see me do right there. So these two fabrics, I'll be folding them into four. Remember, 720 degrees is two of 360 degrees. So the same pattern I use in folding the 360 degrees is what I'll use in folding the 720 degrees flare. Because it's two fabrics put together, I should have two circles. I'll be placing my tape at that corner to mark out the length of my flare. When I'm done doing this, I will be marking out the radius of my flare. Whichever one you want to mark first is totally fine. And when I'm done doing this, I will just be connecting all the points and be cutting them out. So look at it guys, I have two circles, okay? Two circles, I will just be opening them up, then I will join the two. If you are working on a fabric, you will attach the two by sewing the two together. If you want to have um, pleats or gathers, you can as well increase the radius of your flare. Do you understand guys? This is just an illustration, okay? So here is how it looks. So it's really flaring, guys, okay? We're almost done. So this is 720 degrees. The last but not the least in today's tutorial is the 1440 degrees flare. Before I continue with this, I forgot to mention the quadrant aspect of the 720 degrees flare. Like I said, 720 degrees is two circles put together. So what I did was to divide the quadrant again by two. That is the quadrant of 360 degrees by two. So that's one divided by two and that's half. That was why we got two smaller circles for 720 degrees flare. In continuation of the 1440 degrees flare, I'll be having four circles because four circles will give me 1440 remember the pattern we used to get the two circles for 720 degrees flare i will also use the same pattern to get four circles for 1440 degrees flare meaning the answer we got when we did for 360 degrees flare i will just be dividing it by four when I did that, I got 0 0.45. So 0 0.45 in four places should give me 1.8. I want to make life easy by just first of all doing for the two first circles. And that means I'll be having two fabrics placed together. Note, you don't have to separate the fabrics. You can have two fabrics without cutting them separately. Okay, so because there are circles, I'll be folding it into four. When I do this, I should get the first two circles. But if I want to do it straight, I can fold this same fabric into eight and I'll be getting four circles. I'm just trying to make it as um, simple as possible. Okay, so I can actually do this thing once by just folding my fabric straight into eight and I'll be getting 1440 degrees flare this is the second two circles i'm trying to mark and cut out okay note it will be into four okay look at what i was trying to achieve here for those that would think oh the fabrics need to be separated i just had to open it up but whatever it is whether you open it up or not it should give you the same results okay just trying my little best to see how simplified this can be because it has really been a confusing um, topic in the sewing area. So this is me just trying to repeat the same markings and cuttings so that I will have extra two circles. So let me just align everything. So these two 
is for the first two circles and these two, the second two circles. Again, I'm just going to be opening everything up and sewing everything together but in this case i will just be using my pins to attach everything and you will now be seeing how it will be flaring on the neck of the mannequin please you can apply the same method to your fabric it's still going to work out very well and you will see that you won't be having this phobia to cut out flares anymore or you won't just stick to the 360 degrees flare because you think it's the easiest Guys, if you have watched it to this point and you haven't liked this video yet, what are you waiting for? Please like this video, share this video, comment on this video. So this is me just placing the 1440 degrees flare on the neck of my mannequin and you will really appreciate this. But because it's paper or it's a pattern paper, you won't really see the beauty. The same method applies to 2880 degrees flare. Thanks so much for staying till this time and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, kindly give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Don't forget to turn on your post notification bell so you keep seeing my videos. See you all in my next tutorial. Bye!